On the inspiring word today, I want to share with you three unique ways in which God delivers his children from harm. I call it God's three-step deliverance strategy. Do you remember when the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire furnace? Or when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den? When God's children were taken captives in Babylon? God used three powerful steps to deliver them, and I want to share them with you. Now, when these children of God were handed their death sentences, God sent angels to preserve them. So the weapons that were intended to kill them eventually became harmless and useless against God's children. The fire had no effect on Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and the poor hungry lions lost their appetite against Daniel. From this, I realize that God will preserve us in troubled times. So when Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And Isaiah 43 verse 2 says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall a flame kindle upon thee. You better believe it. When he says in Psalms 91 verse 11, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Trust his words. He is your keeper. If it's not your time yet to die, then you shall not die. Glory to God. Now after God made a mockery of the enemy in Babylon by preserving his children in trouble, he then delivered them from trouble. The same way he took them out of the fire furnace and the lion's den is the same way God will take you out of your struggles, your troubles, your sickness, your distress, your oppression and depression. God will vindicate you, restore you and promote you. God will use you to bring glory to his name. So stand up for God and he will come through for you. Glory to God. Now the next step I notice is like the icing on the cake. God not only is a preserver and a deliverer, but he is an avenger. In this step, God ensures total annihilation of the enemy by switching things around. So when God switches it, your enemy takes your place in the trap they set for you. Daniel's enemy became lion's food. And the men that bound the three Hebrew boys to throw them into the flame became fuel for the fire. Let me tell you this. Folks can't mess with God's children and get away with it. God is going to punish the wicked. Just like Haman, who was hanged on his own gallows that he built for Mordecai, so will God cause the enemy's plan to backfire. They will not escape the wrath of God. So whenever you get set up, betrayed and trapped, God is a present help in trouble. He will preserve you in trouble, then deliver you from trouble, and switch it around, destroying those who set you up. So rejoice in the Lord and keep your trust in Him. Remain faithful and He will prove faithful to you. God bless you. And remember, God will deliver you in trouble. God will deliver you out of trouble. And then God will switch it around for you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Have a great day. Hope these few words inspire you. God bless.